a deceptively simple gospel passage about a miracle this morning with some graphic and dramatic details as you know every miracle is a parable every miracle is a parable as saint augustine said jesus was a word that made flesh the word that became flesh the word that became flesh and so whatever he does is word jesus is word that became flesh and so whatever he does is the word so every miracle is a parable the actions of the lord in today's gospel in this miracle are part of the right of every baptism though you may not have noticed that after the baptism with the water there is a small right it goes like this it's called the yafata prayer the celebrant touches the ears and the mouth of the child with his thumb saying the lord jesus made the deaf hear and the dumb speak may he soon touch your ears to receive his word and your mouth to proclaim his faith that is the parable in this miracle it's about a discipleship about evangelization unless you hear you cannot proclaim this man was deaf because, because he was deaf he could not speak because he was deaf he could not speak it means unless you hear you cannot proclaim unless you hear you cannot speak about your faith spiritually speaking this man could not hear because of the crowd this man could not hear spiritually speak because of the crowd so the, the lord takes him away from the crowd what is the crowd we all live in decapolis or more than 10 cities the city of moral relativism the city of subjective individualism a world of materialism this is the whole world there is nothing more than this you just enjoy your day this is the world all that there is materialism so when we live in this world of all these cities with all these kind of noises you will never hear the word of god so i love the lord to take you away from the crowd even this mass every time you hear the word of god you are putting yourself away from the crowd to listen to the word of god didn't say in augustine in his confessions i think book 7 he said late have i loved you o oh beauty so ancient and so new you called and cried to me and broke open my deafness you broke open my deafness so we can be deaf because too many noises from the crowd we don't hear the word of god it was paul tillich who said we have what is called a self complacent finitude self complacent finitude 
what does it mean you and me are really happy with this little mass the shorter the mass the better the shorter the homily is the better because just to the routine the, the habit the, the sunday obligation so just to be here self complacent the finitude you are happy with the way things are if everything is a bit shorter better self complacent finitude again feuerbach says speaks about spiritual laziness spiritual laziness spiritual sloth the minimum the better the shorter the better make everything brief don't go to too long with your homily make it very short spiritual laziness the more we listen to the word of god the deeper we get into the mystery of god and the mystery of life so find time okay it's not my job to lead you away from the crowd it is your job your job every day to lead you yourself away from the crowd to the word of god and have the lord to touch your ears and touch your tongue and again i repeat unless you hear you cannot proclaim if somebody asks you why do you go to church do you have an answer why do you believe in god do you have an answer Why do you go to mass? What do you get there? Do you have an answer? Is Jesus who is your Jesus? Is he a teacher, a wise man? Something more than that? Do you have an answer? We need to have an answer. Again I repeat, unless you hear, you cannot, we cannot, I cannot proclaim.